So now let us format some text according to our needs. So I'm going to click over here and I'm going to say test formatting. So in order to format the text, you should select it first. And once you do that, you can see that a small box appears over here with all of the major formatting options. The options is also available over here under the home tab and these are pretty much the same so it is this chunk right here which actually appears so i'm just gonna go over here select this while this appears so the first option that you see is the uh, font so you can simply select a font that you like over here so i'm just going to go over here uh, select the font of my choice let's say for example something like it'll be gothic right here and it's in the font here is the size of the font, so you can increase the size according to what you want. There are styles that you can apply over here, like heading one and so forth, some pre-made styles right there. You can also decrease the indent position or increase if you're using bulleted points. We're going to talk about this later. And if you're creating a checklist, for example, then you can enable this one. So if you were to click this, you can see that to do checklist is on. So you under create a simple checklist, you can actually do that. If you click again, then everything is checked out, click again, and then it is removed. Over here, you can see that there's tags, so you can add an attack right here, insert points, uh, if you want to make it stand out, or you want to link it later on. Uh, you can bold this out, bold the text, italicize it, underline it, or remove all of the text formatting right here. So I'm going to apply the bold in this one, as you can see, so it is more clear, just like that. So over here is underline, and here, is the highlight option so it highlights a certain text just like that if you want if you use the highlighter let me just use no color right over here i'm gonna go over here and here you can see the text color you can choose from the colors that you see here let me select that first choose from the colors that you see here or go for more colors right here and then choose from the custom menu just like that from the standard menu right here or the custom color range where you have more options and i can press ok all right, so I'm going to telesize and underline this as well, this for thing. And now over here, you can see that there's bullets. So you can also add in and disable the bullets right here or add in a numbered list, which we're going to talk about later on. Here is the format data um, a painter, which we're going to talk in future lessons. And here's the delete button, which helps you delete the entire thing. Right. So that is how you can format text inside of Microsoft OneNote. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.